case is just weird to me. I don't know. I've never seen nobody in person buy a suitcase in person. So when I see somebody in person buying a suitcase, bro, I'm, a, I'm probably going to automatically think now, like, yeah, this dude just did something crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, I don't know if it's just me, but I've never seen nobody buy a suitcase unless they was buying it online and got delivered or they already had one. You know what I'm saying? From like 1921 or something. You know what I'm saying? Howdy. My name's Cloudy. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Today, we got a video from Unpopular Nerd. Damn, I said his name really wrong. Unpopular notes, you know what I'm saying? Called Five More Killers Busted on Camera Doing Their Crimes, featuring the rat nose. I'm guessing the, the dude, the rat nose, kind of helped to make the video or something like that. You feel me? So, shout out to both of them, you know? Um, make sure y'all keep y'all water, man. It, it's getting hot, and I know if, for all my smokers, you know what I'm saying? I know most of our smokers. We love the hot box, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you got water, ice cold water in hand or ice cold rag or something like that. So you can put it on your skin when you, you know what I mean? So you won't be that hot. Trust me, it works, you know what I'm saying? But let's get into the video. I see y'all like my my police one, my last one. See, I seen like two, two, three likes on it. So I'm guessing y'all kind of mess with it a little bit, so. You know, bring some more episode see if is not faint of heart. Some stuff As like we delve this. into the unsettling world of crime, exploring the stories of some of the most disturbing killers caught on camera, we're also excited to announce our collaboration with the fascinating channel, The Rat Nose, who will assist in narrating this video. If you yeah, enjoy see. mysteries and crimes, you'll love their channel as they cover intriguing cases and captivating stories. Be sure to check out. For real? Hold on, man. I might check you out, bro. The Rat Nose, who will assist in narrating this video. If you enjoy mysteries and crimes, you'll love their channel as they cover intriguing cases and captivating stories. Be sure to check out The Rat Nose and subscribe to their channel for more eerie content. We gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have Jesse to Campton, look at some of his stuff. Psycho murderer. Jesse Campton. Grace Mullane, the pretty young woman seen in a pretty black dress as the screen opens, is about to turn 22. One dream that stayed with Grace is a desire to see the world, and before she turns 22, she leaves her home in Essex, UK to backpack through New Zealand. On her birthday eve, was she went a on a date with a man she journey? had met on Tinder. His neat look bellies the devil in his belly. See, this is why I can't, man, this is why I don't trust dating apps like that. Like, yeah, I would use them, you know what I'm saying, of course, you feel me, to see who's in my area or whatever, but... You really can't trust these apps, bro. You don't know what kind of people you meeting. People can lie in their bio, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's very skeppy. You know what I'm saying? Very skeppy. Jesse Campton. They spend only a few minutes here, and in those few minutes, you can see how relaxed they both are. The apparent calm before the storm. This is the first time they met. And you can't forget, she came from the UK all the way to another place, bro. So she don't even know the area like that. They make their way to a Mexican cafe. Grace's smile is still firmly planted on her face. She appears to be so nice, and you can see the staff getting along with her easily, sharing smiles and a few words. Everything looked normal, too. It looked like they had a pretty decent date, you know what I'm saying? They both look happy and everything. feel-good evening didn't end yet. They carried on, visiting more places. You can see one cozy moment in the blue room where they Man, they already moment. kissing and stuff, bro. Bro, this is the first day I met. Nah, bro, she fell for him quick. It is obvious that they are having a good evening, strolling the street after leaving the blue room. Fem I don't know. I take the elevator to what must be Kempton's room. Still cozy. When he emerged later, he wasn't wearing a shirt over his t-shirt anymore, and his face wasn't so cozy anymore. I mean... Where's she at? He makes his way to a store. You can see him checking out suitcases. Bro, this dude, bro, he just... He killed this girl in, in that room, bro. And he finna put her in a suitcase. And all this is being documented on camera, bro. Him buying stuff. 
Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Seeing somebody buy a suitcase is just weird to me. I don't know. I've never seen nobody in person buy a suitcase in person. So when I see somebody in person buying a suitcase, bro, I'm, a, I'm probably gonna automatically think now, like, yeah, this dude just did something crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, I don't know if it's just me, but I've never seen nobody buy a suitcase unless they was buying it online that got delivered or they already had one. You know what I'm saying? From like 1921 or something. You know what I mean? I've never seen nobody really go in the store and buy a suitcase. I've never, I rarely see suitcases. Probably because I don't look for them, but I don't really see suitcase cases and I don't see nobody buying them. You know what I'm saying? So that's already weird. That's a red flag. He buys the suitcases and makes his way back to his hotel room via the elevator. We don't Bro, see Miss Grace is calm. Where is she gone? Did she jump out the window? Kempton continues to lead his normal life, going to the mall. Bro, where where's this dude put her, bro? What the fuck? Bro, and, and I'm t bro, too, and just normal. His with his face they telling act us normal. Very little about what might have transpired in his room with Grace. Bro, and you don't even know who you walking by that did something like that. You know what I'm saying? He has even seen going out with another woman. Now we see him walk into the elevator, pushing two heavy suitcases with him. The suitcase no way, bro. No way this dude just... Bro, did he... Bro, did he off both of them females, bro? Another woman. Now we see him walk into the elevator. Y'all females be careful, two man. Suitcases with him. The suitcase is obviously... Bro, no him, fucking way, And you can way, tell by bro. the amount of energy he is expending to push it along. Bro, did he just off both of them females, dude? In this hotel room. And where the fuck... Where was the cleaning lady? In all of his movements, you wonder if some of the things Kempton has purchased at the mall are not specific. In the street, he gets the suitcases in his wow, rental car. Wow, bro. This dude just off two females, bro, in this hotel room. And nobody knows about it. We don't see the car again until the next day when it appears at 6.50 a.m. at the hardware store where he purchased a shovel. Bro, he finna... I'm telling you, bro, when people buy stuff like this, bro, you really gotta be on 10, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too weird for me. People just buying shovels or buying a suitcase. Like, that's the only stuff they buying. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if I'm a worker, bro, I'm automatically thinking like, bro, this dude is, who comes in the store and just buy one shovel? I don't really see it. Who comes in the store and buy a suitcase only? I never see it. You know what I'm saying? Some, like, I'm wondering how some people don't, don't pick this up, but it must be normal in other places to just buy stuff like this. Maybe because the area they he in, you know what I'm saying? returns to the hotel without the heavy suitcase he had carried out with him. And no room. shoes. Now he only has one of the bags, and it is not as heavy. He has no shoes on, bro. Didn't, he bro, unpopular. To the hotel without bro. the heavy suitcase he had carried out with him earlier. Now he only has one of the bags, and it is he not as heavy. Bro has no, bro. He has no shoes on. Look at, at his feet. He has no shoes on, bro. Who walks around barefoot like that? He's later seen taking a load to the laundry house. Later, he will take his rental car to a self-service wash. Bro just off two females, bro. And nothing's happening to this dude. The police will find Grace's body buried under the earth with a suitcase for a coffin. And Jesse Kempton was arrested on the 8th of December, seven days after that date with Grace. Oh, they found him. The police officer. Bro, he was on camera the whole time, bro. 
the whole time he was on camera, bro. I'm see this is this is why people shouldn't even do crimes, bro. You're on the camera from the day you wake from the moment you walk out from the moment you walk out your house to the moment you go in, bro. You're on the camera. You're on public cameras, bro. You have to assume that. You know what I'm saying? There's cameras everywhere. You feel me? And and bro. I'm so glad they caught this dude, man. I wanna know, I wanna know what his sentence was, man, because he off two females, bro, and gave no fucks about it. The man you see on screen is Metro Police. Later, he's seen oh, purchasing damn, air bad. rental station in Kent. The man bad, you see on screen is Met 8th of December, seven days after that date with Grace. That's crazy. The bro. police officer. The man you see on screen is Metro Police Officer Wayne Cozens. The first time you see him on screen, he's renting a car at a rental station in Kent. I don't think I put the cold water bottle. Later, he's seen purchasing hairbands at a mall. All right, so you purchasing what at the mall? Later, he's seen purchasing hairbands at a mall. Air vans or air? Wait, what? Air something. Sarah Everard is the woman seen walking casually on screen. And who's the people right here? Why are they blurred out? She's stopped by Officer Cozens, who accused her of breaking COVID protocols. Wow. Really, bro? You gonna stop somebody on the street for breaking? Well, I guess it makes sense if it's around that. If it was around this that time, if this was around 2018, 20, did we did we have to wear masks? Nah, we didn't. It started like 2020, probably like early 2020. That's when we had or 29. I don't even remember, bro. It's so long ago, and man, we still wear masks today. So you know, it, I don't know. But bro, females, y'all should never, ever, 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 bro travel by yourself and i know it's like well we grow and we have to do certain things and etc so i get it i get it but if you have the, the opportunity if you have the opportunity to have somebody else be with you bro take the opportunity somebody you trust somebody you cool with and everything like that D don't be alone bro you can't don't be alone don't be alone man bad things happen when y'all just moving around alone bro he handcuffed real. her and drove her away in his car Poor Sarah didn't think she was in any danger. She's in a police car. What could go wrong? She is 33 and will never live to see 34 after this encounter with the man. The next the time Officer Cozens is seen on video, his evil has been completed and he's buying hot chocolate at a bakery tart. I'm telling you, bro, it's people that's normal around you he's that later is captured stuff at a gas station. Know. But instead of filling his tank, he fills up a jerry can with gas. You can guess what that's for. He also stopped at a store to pick up a flat back trolley he had purchased. And he a police officer, bro. So, you know, people going to believe him off rip for one. Two, people not going to question him when he's in like unauthorized areas because he a police officer. You feel me? And then it's like he could do whatever he want in that car. You feel me? He's a police officer, bro. Like, bro. He wiped everything on his phone, wicked, restoring bro. it to factory setting in a bid to hide all evidence of his devilry. Sarah. Sarah went missing on Wednesday. Yeah, hey, if he was in, if he was in his police car, he get he caught up already because police. But see, you don't know some. Some police departments might try to cover it. See, that's why I don't, man, that's that's bad to have a, a serial killer cop. That's horrible, bro. That's horrible because they might get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Just because they're the police officer. They kind of know the ins and outs of how people investigate, what they look for, stuff like that. But if bro was in his police car and she was in his car last, his, in his police car last, bro, they won't know it was him who did it, bro. When the police finally got around to dishing justice, he Cozens wears the cuffs of shame. Said you must have something to say that I, I know. Well, I've said you've been arrested on suspicion of kidnapping. And we believe that you've been involved in her disappearance and taking her away from her family. Okay. So we are trying to find her. 
What do you mean, okay? Are these other police? He confesses to his crimes. Bro, did, that he oh, he confessed to do it. Okay, um, well, I am in financial, um, and I've been um, lent on by um, I don't know who they are. They're a, a group, a gang, whatever. He's saying he got paid to do this, and they told me why I need to go and pick up pills and give them to them. So. So he picked up a girl for a gang, took it to the gang, and the gang did it. Or do y'all think he did it? You went to go buy the gas and stuff, bro. Take him to jail. Either way, bro. How you a police officer and you let a gang member tell you what to do, bro? You could... What? Then came through that they're gonna harm my family. Oh. Okay. Then I see. Then I harm your family. Um, at that point, bro, you could have called it in though. Somebody. Bro, you could have called it in and been like, these people trying to hurt my people. There's a couple of names. I was told a place to um, take her. That's it. That's all, that is all I know. As punishment, he received a whole life sentence. The worst punishment Ooh. bar the death penalty. He already old too, so he ain't Luka gonna make The predator. Hey man, we just gonna do two stories from here, you know what I'm saying? We got three more, but let me know if y'all like these, man. I, I think I messed with these. This is crazy to see all this on the camera bro and i'm pretty sure most crimes are like this all caught on camera just like this they see you walking out your house and they see you going back to your house they see what stories you go in they know what uh they know what stuff you bought you know what i mean they know what car you switched they know where you washed your car they know where you, you peed at just to go pee even if it was just a restaurant or something you didn't buy nothing they know all of that bro from the moment you walk out the house it's 2023 but at this time, I think I think this story happened around 2018, just like the, I don't remember the years, bro. But it most likely didn't happen this year. But still, bro, we got too much. We got too many cameras for people to just be doing stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? We should, bro, they put out all these cameras just to make sure people be like, oh, we're not going to do no crime because we know we're going to get caught. We on camera, you feel me? But people are just bold, you know what I mean? And we got to watch out for those bold people because... Uh, yeah, man, they 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 dangerous, bro. And and you don't know who it is. It could be anybody around you when you're out in public that probably murdered like four or five people. You know what I'm saying? And they just living like nothing happened. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about no gamer shooting another gamer. I'm talking about people who just randomly pick people and, and, and end them. You know what I'm saying? Because that happens. And it happens to females majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? And probably 95% of the time is happening to females because y'all the most vulnerable. So y'all need to stop being... Trying to act like y'all need y'all y'all need to be independent. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Y'all shouldn't be independent because of this right here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, y'all leave a like, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man.